One way of making your WordPress website even more engaging is by embedding your latest Instagram post. Since Instagram has over 1 billion active users a month, showcasing your Instagram content on your website can be a great way to boost your engagement and grow your brand. That's why in this video, I'll show you the easiest way to import your Instagram feed onto your WordPress website. Let's get started. The easiest way to import an Instagram feed onto your WordPress website is by using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you create beautiful, customizable, and responsive Instagram feeds for your WordPress website. To purchase the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. Once purchased, inside your account, you'll find your download link and license key as well. Download the zip file and head over to your WordPress dashboard. And now inside your dashboard, installing Instagram Feed Pro is just like installing any other plugin. On the left-hand side, hover over plugins and click on Add New. Then click on Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file that we just downloaded for Instagram Feed Pro like this. And then click on Install Now. Once installed, we can also go and activate the plugin. As you can see, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. Before we can start creating our first Instagram feed, let's go and activate the license key. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice Instagram feed. Hover over it like this and click on settings. And beside license key, you can copy and paste the license key from smashballoon.com like this and click on activate. There we go, our license key is now activated and we can begin creating our Instagram feeds. Once again, on the left-hand side, under Instagram feed, click on all feeds. Next, we can go and click on add new at the top. And this brings us into the first step when creating our Instagram feed. Here you can see the different feed types you can create with Instagram Feed Pro. For example, you can create a feed of posts from your user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you are tagged in as well. For this example, let's go with the user timeline, and that's already selected, so we can go and click on Next. Now we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Click on Add Source. And on this screen, we'll have to connect our Instagram account with Smash Balloon. First, we can specify the account type. If your account is a personal account, you can select Personal. But in our case, we have a business account, so I'm going to select Business here and then click on Login with Facebook. This will take us into Facebook, and it will show you all the Instagram accounts associated with your profile. Select the account you want to display on your feed, like this, and click on Next. Then you'll also have to select the Facebook page associated with that Instagram account. Select it like this, and click on Next. And on this tip, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook and Instagram profiles. All it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display your feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on your behalf. You can keep all of these as default, and click on Done. And there we go, we've now linked Smash Balloon to our Facebook and Instagram accounts. We can click OK here. And we have one last prompt, and that's a security confirmation here. It's just asking us if we want to connect our Instagram account to this domain. We can click Yes, it's my domain, and continue. Back inside Instagram Feed Pro, you should now see your Instagram account right here. We can select it and click on Add. Then we can select it as a source and click Next. Now you have the option to select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of your Instagram feed. You have options like the default, simple grid, Simple Grid Excel, Masonry Cards, Card Grid, and more. For this example, let's go with the highlight template we see here and click on Next at the top. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of your new Instagram feed. Currently, it's displaying all the latest posts from our Instagram account that we connected in the highlight template that we selected earlier. Before I show you how to embed this onto your WordPress web page, let me show you how we can customize this to really match your brand or business. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Here you have options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. As you can see currently, we have the highlight layout selected, but instead you can go with the grid layout like this, where you have all your posts in this neatly organized rows and columns layout. Next, we have the carousel layout, which lets you swipe through your Instagram posts like this. After that, we have the masonry layout, which shows all of your posts in their original sizes in this rows and columns layout. For this video, we're going to stick with the highlight layout, which lets us highlight specific posts on our Instagram feed. And if I scroll down, you can see we have options to modify the number of posts we want to display on our feed. To modify this, you can simply enter the number of posts you want to display on your feed like this. And straight away, any change we make here will update on our live preview on the right hand side. And just below that, we can also specify the number of columns we want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, don't forget to hit save on the top right corner. Instagram Feed Pro also lets you modify the color palette for your feed. Once again, under the Customize tab, click on Color Scheme. As you can see, currently it's inheriting all of our colors from our WordPress theme. Otherwise, you can go for a light layout like this a dark layout, and even a custom layout where you can select the exact colors for your Instagram feed like this. Select the color scheme that best matches your requirements and click on save on the top right corner. Instagram Feed Pro is also incredibly responsive across all devices. On the top right corner, you can find buttons to check out how your feed will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. And once you're happy with your Instagram feed, we can go and embed it onto any page on your website. On the top right corner, click on embed. This will display your dedicated shortcode for your Instagram feed. You can copy it and click on Add to a page. Then select the page you want to add your Instagram feed to 
and click on add. On your page, you have two different options to embed your Instagram feed. You can either add a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that we just copied earlier like this, or you can use a dedicated Instagram feed block for block editor like this. And with just a single click, you can see your new Instagram feed embedded right on your web page. We can now publish this and check out what it looks like on the front end. And now on our live web page, we have that Instagram feed that we just created embedded directly on our web page. You can see all the latest posts for the account we created in the highlights layout. If I click on any of the posts, it will open up in this lightbox view where you can see the post, the caption, and the comments as well. And if I scroll down, right at the bottom, you'll see a button that says load more. If I click on it, my feed will load more posts from our Instagram page, just like this. And alternatively, if you want to add your Instagram feed to the sidebar or footer of your website, you can do that as well. Let me show you. Back inside the plugin, we can go and click on Embed. And instead of clicking on Add to a Page, we can go and click on Add to a Widget instead. And that brings us into the WordPress Widgets menu. For this example, let's add our Instagram feed into the sidebar of our website. And just like before, we have the same two options to embed this. We can either copy and paste the shortcode into a shortcode block, or we can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. And with a single click, you can see our Instagram feed embedded into the sidebar widget. We can now update this and check out what it looks like on the front end. And now back on our live web page, you can see right in the middle, we have that Instagram feed that we created earlier in the highlights layout. But on the right-hand side, you'll now notice that we have our Instagram feed inside the sidebar as well. In a carousel layout, you can swipe through like this. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you need any technical support, please get in touch with our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching.